Hey, this is Coach Saiful with your daily dose of Math Mastery for Primary 5 Math Prodigies. Now, if you've done your question yesterday, you got it right, I'm proud of you. But first, let me give you the answer to the question, alright? But let's look at the question first. The question was, the cost of a present was shared among three boys. Jack paid $80 more than Tim. Keith paid $220 more than the total amount paid by Jack and Tim. If Keith paid four hundred eighty dollars more than Jack, how much did the present cost? Now, before getting to the answer, okay, let me just to show you your answer. I'm gonna share, tell you what the answer is first. All right, the answer is actually one thousand. Oops, sorry, one thousand four hundred and twenty dollars. Oops, yeah. So if you got yourself the answer, one thousand four hundred twenty dollars. I'm giving you a virtual high five and you're a math prodigy. Good job. Now, for those of you who didn't get 1420, I'm still proud of you, but you just gotta keep trying, all right? Keep trying, keep trying until you get it. So, let's take a look at this question. It's actually a very simple question. The cost of a present was shared among three boys. What you must do is Jack, underline Jack, paid $80 more. A circle that. There's a number. Then whom? Then Tim. Okay, Keith paid two hundred and twenty dollars more than the total amount paid by Jack and Tim. So Keith actually paid, as you can see, two hundred twenty dollars more than the total. Keyword here is total. Total amount paid by Jack and Tim. If Keith paid four hundred eighty dollars more, Keith paid eight dollars more. Right? What happens is then Jack, then Jack. Sorry. How much did the present? cost. How much did the present cost? Hmm. Let me delete this for a while. Okay. So the question is saying like something like this. Let's make sure that Jack actually pays $80 more than Tim. So 80 plus T. Okay. Keith paid $220 more than the total amount paid by Jack and Tim. So there's Jack, there's, there's Tim here, and Jack. That's the combination of both of them, right? So it equals to Tim plus, as you can see, Jack actually equals to A T plus T. So you put it in T equals T plus A T plus T. Okay, which actually equals to 2T plus A T. Mm, okay. Now, they said that Keith paid two hundred and twenty dollars more than this. So Keith in the end actually paid Keith paid two T plus A T plus another what? Two hundred and twenty dollars. Now the question is if Keith paid four hundred eight dollars more than Jack <coughs> if Keith paid excuse me <coughs> Okay if Keith paid four hundred eight dollars more than Jack Keith paid four hundred and eight dollars more than Jack. Oh, um, ignore the background noise. <laughs> if Keith paid one hundred more than Jack, how much did the present cost? Okay, I know this all looks very gibberish to you right now, but I just want to get the record straight. This is all the numbers you can see. But let's let's make it easier for you. Remember, the teachers always teach by models. So let's make it easier by doing something called models. Okay? Let me draw a model for you here. They said that Keith, sorry, that Jack paid eight dollars more than Tim. So it's if you can imagine, Tim is one unit. Okay? Let's, let let T be let Tim be one unit. Okay? If Tim is one unit, Jack paid how much more? Eight dollars more. So this is Jack. And this is eighty dollars, okay? Eighty dollars more, okay? And if you were to join them together, Tim and Jack, you bring this down, actually equals to something that looks a bit like this, correct? Okay, I'm gonna erase the top part first. Oh, this is very slow. <laughs> Let me just do this quickly for you guys. Make sure you understand this, okay? This is Tim and Jack. 
Now he's this. The question says that Keith paid two hundred and twenty dollars more than the total amount paid by Jack and Tim. So this, if this is Tim and Jack, uh, Jack and Tim, Keith paid how much more? Two hundred and twenty dollars more. So we just copy this down. Eight dollars here, and then you add another extra what? Two hundred and twenty dollars. So here it is, $220. Now, you also know that Keith paid $480 more than Jack. They said that Keith, Keith here, paid $480 more than Jack. If you remember just now, Tim, uh, Jack is actually this. One unit plus $80, right? So what you know now is that this amount here is actually equals to four hundred and eighty dollars because this equals to Jack's amount. Let me just use a different color here. This here actually equals to Jack's amount. Remember, this is Jack, and this is Tim. So here, this if you, from this, what you can understand is. 480 equals to 1 unit plus what? 220. Therefore, 1 unit equals to 480 minus 220. I'll just do it mentally very quickly. And that equals to $260. Got it? So far? Now, the question is, how much did the present cost? So the present is actually this whole amount. So there is one unit, two units, three units, four units. So the present costed you four units plus, can you see the extras? You saw $80, $80, and $220. You're right. Good job. So plus $80, plus $80. Oh no, I've run out of space. <laughs> plus $260. I apologize. Okay. And if you to do the math, 4 times 260 plus 180, sorry, 180 plus 80 equals to 160 plus 260. And in the end, what you will get, the answer would be 1420 dollars. Okay? I know the mess the, the I know that the working is quite messy, but I hope you understand the answer, okay? Good job, you're a math prodigy. Now, now, now that you know how to do this, let me give you something similar to this for your question of the day. And your question of the day is, at a cafe, imagine a cafe, it could be a mad cafe or anything you want, breakfast is sold in a combination meals, which means it is one and something else. So in this case, it's a set of sandwich and a cup of tea, which costs $1.80. And a set of muffin and a cup of tea costs two dollars and three cents a sandwich and a muffin together however cost two dollars and forty cents and your job is how to find out how much does each individual item cost how much does a muffin cost how much does a tea a cup of tea cost <laughs> and how much does a sandwich cost so find that out and i'll see you tomorrow with the answers and remember this very important phrase victory loves preparation Victory loves preparation. The reason why we do it, we keep doing this over and over again, the practice is to make sure that you are so prepared that victory will love you and you will attain victory, alright? So you are a math prodigy.